Hi, I'm Mike from Northwoods Wendigo. Thank you for watching HodgePodge. Um, this is... I am Steve from Northwoods Wendigo, and thank you for watching HodgePodge. Basically, we're going to go over this one because we had a lot of experience with it. Um, we were around when my dad purchased it in the late 90s. Um, he got it from a guy for a very, very low price. Uh, the guy didn't really have what he had. It's called a Gibson Rhythm King, and it's a tube amp, actually. Um, I am not completely sure on the year, so I don't want to give a solid decade. Um, just yet, I can do some more research into that. But it's a very old tube amp. Um, he replaced early the Early 60s, I want to say. I want to say late 50s, early 60s, if I'm going to spitball it. Um, and he redid the tubes. On, there's fresh tubes on the inside. Uh, he had to re-solder and redo a little bit of the interior electronic work. But um, it was a really easy, cheap buy. And it gives you a nice, if you're looking for a clean rock and roll sound, that's what that gives you. It gives you your clean, unadulterated, just rock and roll, no distortion. You can change bass and treble here and there to give it a little bit of a crunch. But other than that, it's a very clean, smooth, uh, nice little amp. And it's not too loud. That's a big reason people like to play it. It's got, it can be loud because it's got that big surface area to it, but it doesn't have to be too loud of an amp. It can be used live and also in multiple practice spaces. And this guy right here, this is my favorite uh, piece of machinery that is in our, in our grasp. Um, this is a Leslie 825. Um, a lot of places that used them back when they were big in the 70s uh, were schools uh, would use them for their organs because they didn't they had uh, Wurlitzers. Um, basically what this amp uh, what kind of sets it apart is uh, this entire casing right here sort of slides off. So under this casing um, is two horns and uh, those bo both of those horns are attached to a spindle. Uh, when you turn on the amp, you can make those, the spindle rotate. So um, basically why all of these sound holes are in the bottom of the, uh, of the thing, and it, uh, if you could see the other sides, you'd see them there too, um, the, the sound actually rotates, and what that does is all of the sound waves sort of rotate around the room to make it more of a circular sound so that Water. the organ... Uh, usually it's plugged into organs so that the organ really kind of envelops the entire room. It's not a bad bass amp either. It's a watery um, sound. Was it? It's a watery sound. Yeah, it's really watery. It's super watery. Um, and uh, uh, it's, it's meant for sort of filling a room. Beautiful.